drove him to terror. Faisal Shahzad, whose bomb was labeled amateur, has talked about his motive, if we believe it, and Brian Ross is here with the news. Brian. Well, Diane, he's been talking since he was arrested, reportedly telling FBI agents he was angry over friends killed by the CIA missile strikes in Pakistan, that he suffered a personal crisis in his life, and, according to one person, even a claim that he carried out the attempted bombing because he was under duress. Authorities are skeptical about that. Shazad reportedly told FBI agents he feared for his family's safety if he did not carry out the mission, driving the vehicle bomb into a crowded Times Square. That begins to make more sense why the Pakistani authorities apparently have, quote, arrested his family members. It may have been protective custody. His was not a suicide mission, and he was a bumbling bomber. Law enforcement officials say the bomb in the Nissan Pathfinder was wired correctly, but was seriously flawed in other ways, including the failed fuse for the bomb made of firecrackers. An executive of the Pennsylvania store where Shazad bought the fireworks said today what he bought here lacked real firepower. They're just not going to do the damage. I think he thought these products were a lot more powerful than they actually are. Bomb technicians examining Shazad's bomb also reported that he failed to turn on the valve of the propane tanks he placed in the back of the vehicle. And as we know, the fertilizer he chose was of a grade that the bomb technician said would not have exploded. The terrorist is cooperating in large measure uh, to gain a lighter sentence. What he says will have to be verified out in Pakistan. Even so, the vehicle was parked near thousands of people. Whatever the case, the fact that Shahzad was able to board the plane and almost get out of the country before being arrested led to yet another crackdown on airport security today. Even though Shahzad had been put on the no-fly list earlier in the day Monday, he was able to buy a ticket in cash at the Emirates counter at Kennedy Airport and successfully board the plane bound for Dubai. The idea that someone would pay cash and just walk on an airplane, particularly when they got their ticket at the last minute, is very confounding. Before today, airlines had 24 hours to update their no-fly lists. Now they must do it every two hours. When U.S. Customs agents showed up on that plane to take Shazad finally into custody, he was described as extremely nervous and then asked the agents, what took you so long, Diane? Expecting them Expecting as, as he that was. Expecting as if they were going to be found. Let me get this straight. He's been read his Miranda rights, which means he has the right not to answer questions anymore, but he's still talking? That's right. He's been told he has the right to call a lawyer. He hasn't done that, and he continues to talk telling his whole life story to the FBI agents interrogating him. Okay, Brian, thanks. And as you said, he has been talking about his family. And we know he has a wife and two children in Pakistan. And to date, Nick Schifrin, who's reported extensively on the militant networks there,